But anyway, without further ado, DC, let's get right into our day three mock. I mean, excuse me, not mock, but the uh, breakdown day three. Starting in the fourth round at the top of the day three, uh, the Saints took offensive lineman Rick Leonard from Florida State. Now, Rick Leonard is a guy that uh, a lot of people kind of questioned that move when the, when the Saints pulled that one off. I was kind of like, who? <laughs> they had another guy on the board that I was like, wow, why did you pass him up? But Are you talking he, about Hurst again? Yeah, well, not Hurst. It was an, well, Maurice Hurst was well, there, they, but they wanted the lineman. That whole yeah. condition scared Yeah, scared them off, yeah. right. Raiders got him, though, but they got it going. But anyway, for Rick, as far as Rick Leonard is considered, 6'7", 311 pounds from Florida State. Now, he moved from defensive end to right tackle back in uh, 2016. He's considered as athletic. He's considered, he's considered as an athletic positional blocker who grow, who pretty much is a reserve offensive lineman. That's what they grade him out as. But he's big, 6'7", 311. I've seen some tape on him. He can move pretty good for a guy his size. The only question is, uh, you know, he's going to need a lot of time to develop D.C. Is he raw? Because, you know, that's the label we got on all our players. In this some people, that's the key word yeah, for they, everybody. I know they're not, fav- <laughs> they're not fans of some of our guys that we picked this year, but, you know, if Jeff Ireland is doing a lot of this, him and Sean Payton working together, and Jeff Ireland didn't show me anything bad since he's been uh, helping, you know, running the scouting departments and doing what he's doing, and he's been terrific, and I'm just going to have to ride with him like a few of our commenters, you guys said, and I agree with that. You know, you got to ride with him until he show you different. But uh, Rick Leonard is the guy that the Saints feel good. They took him in the fourth round. And what's your take on uh, Rick Leonard, uh, D.C.? Well, I looked at uh, where he was from, and to me that said a lot. Um, we finally got a guy that came from, uh, I guess, a reputable program. That probably was the first guy Florida State, in right. the draft what we got from a big school. So we know the type of competition that he's going to go up against. A very, very big guy, and uh, it gives us some depth uh, along with Bushrod to go with uh, this right. tackle situation because yep. we know Tyron Armstead has issues. And from the tape, man, I mean, he looks pretty impressive, man. He looks like a hell of a run blocker to me. Yeah. So uh, I really like that about him. Um, of course, there's going to be some things, you know, you got to get cleaned up with him, as with any guy in the draft. I mean, ain't none of these guys really promise, but I like what I saw from Leonard. Very, very big guy, 6'7", 311 pounds, man. That's a big boy. Um, so we got what they call him with the hog mollies. We're going to have a whole line full of hog mollies. I think that's the word they used to use. So I like to pick. Um, I was a little curious why we took him so early, but uh, I'm going to trust in Jeff Ireland. Maybe he knows something I don't. Uh, and the whole thing on him was uh, his demeanor. Uh, the more I looked into him, I kept hearing about, and he, they call him nasty. Yeah, that's the term <laughs> and, I keep hearing. And, 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 and I, I, I like that. That's what I like that. Because um, we definitely want to run the ball now, um, and we'll talk about one of our other picks later that's going to show we have something going on in that running game. And um, if you got a lineman like that, even though he's probably going to be rotational coming sometimes, you definitely want him to have that mean streak. You just love a lineman that got that mean streak, man, and to have a tackle like that that big to actually be a bully would be very nice. Well, I mean, they get him in the fourth round, and they see they, they're definitely going to work on him because we look at some of the tackles. You mentioned Teron Armstead. There's Ryan Ramchek there as well uh, starting. Then the backups go Bryce Harris. Uh, then you have guys like Jeremiah Bushrod who, who came back. He signed a one-year deal. So they might be looking at Leonard as a guy that will provide, along with Clapp, who we'll discuss later on, some, uh, some help. Depth wise, for a very long time with this Saints club. That's Rick Litter. Let's move on to the fifth round pick for the New Orleans Saints. And the Saints got, you know, it's kind of surprised some people here. They took Natrell Jamerson. Jamerson, 5'11, 200 pounds from the University of Wisconsin. And they speak about Jamerson saying he's a good athlete with some upside as a free safety. He's only, he has 15 career starts and he's, uh, his development was stunt, stunted by his stints at wide receiver and cornerback so he's very versatile as well as missing six games in 2016 due to a leg injury but he has enough size and athleticism as well as speed and toughness to contribute immediately on special teams while working to find a niche as a sub package contributor on defense now of course we look at these picks and we're going to look at 
number five going all the way down to number seven. But these the couple of the middle round picks for the Saints, and I'm I'm speaking of the fifth and the sixth, and the, uh, the fifth and both six uh, round draft picks are definitely to help build and cultivate special teams. DC, speak about uh, Natrell Jamison. Man, this your guy. Remember we had this conversation a while back before the draft, and we was like, we need another cornerback, and I was like, no, we don't. He was like, yes, we do. Is Jamison the man? <laughs> Jamison is your man. This right. is your backup slot cornerback right here. Um, this is your fourth cornerback? To me. Um, P- so what happens to P.J. Williams? That's well, I slot. mean, if P- if P.J. Uh, P.J., I guess he could be a backup slot too. Well, he's going to come in and compete. This guy was actually a teammate of P.J. in high school. Right. Funny that you brought that up. Yes. So I'm pretty sure P.J. told them, hey, you want to get this guy. The fastest, uh, well, second fastest time for all safeties in the 40. 4-4-4. Four, four, that's four. pretty That's pretty good. Dude is fast. A lot of speed. The strongest safety had the most reps on the bench press. So he's strong. And we and got fast. this guy. Damn! Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we could let him sit there and soak up game because he, he going to be depth. So his rookie year, we might not see nothing from him unless something goes bad. But if we start having guys drop, like, you know, Lattimore missed a few games. Uh, Ken Crowley missed a few games. This is a guy that could potentially get on the field. And you might not be so upset about that. And he's a very good at special teams, both-way player, returns, and a hell of a gunner. So this this dude is a football player, man. I like it. And some people consider this pick is one I don't hear analysts complaining about. They consider this guy to be a steal. That we got him in the fifth round. You got a good size, five eleven, and he's versatile. He can play the cornerback, like Very you versatile. said, or safety. He can kick return, punt return. Well, the Saints say they see him so, as a cornerback, you know. Right. So this is going to be very interesting, man. And I'm be looking. I'm gonna be looking forward to keeping eyes on Natrell Jamison to see how uh, he fits in the upcoming weeks. Going into the sixth round of six round pick, the first of the six round picks for New Orleans, the Saints tr- uh, drafted cornerback Karen Moore. Now Karen Moore. 5'11", 202 pounds out of Boston College. And the, and the information on him is more displays quick feet, adequate hip fluidity, shows good bursts out of pedal, but has below average ball skills and just two career interceptions. He has uh, instincts, cover skills, and toughness to develop into a quality nickel cornerback in the NFL. Kareem Moore, 5'11". Uh, Kareem Moore to me is, is a guy that they're just gambling on. Um, I don't hear much about him. Um, to me, I get at at best King Crawley type vibes, but he's not even that big. Um, he's a guy that basically he gonna knock the ball down. You can see he don't you don't get any interceptions. So this is another depth pick. Uh, hopefully he can make the team. P.J. Williams, I don't know where his contract is. Uh, Devontae Harris, you don't ever want him to touch the field. I have to hope we need to call him back again. So <laughs> you got a guy that you probably can shape, groom, and mold and maybe be a practice squad guy. But you know how we did with Devontae Harris and other people, but maybe this is the type of guy that could come over just in case. I mean, you need five cornerbacks. And we had a period in time where our first, our top three were hurt. Yeah. You know, not so yeah, long I think ago. that's so a part of I think that's the a Saints part of the Saints are definitely philosophy. trying yes. to load up and make sure we, exactly. we're not, uh, I guess, toe up if that happened again. Right, I, I think that's that's very well said. Now I agree with you on that. I think the Saints doing a pretty good job of stocking up with cornerbacks. They, they with defensive backs, they got two, and the fifth and sixth round back to back. Obviously, they really felt that they needed some more youth and speed and athleticism, and they got it with both these guys uh, at the cornerback uh, defensive back position. So going into the second of the six of the two six round picks, the Saints have. We're looking at running back Boston Scott, five foot seven, 197 pounds out of Law Tech. Now, Scott rushed for 1,040 yards and eight touchdowns last season. He's an undersized back with a very good top end speed and change of pace direction as well, but he doesn't have great power. He's a small target in the passing game and isn't big or strong enough to regularly hold up in pass protection. Boston Scott, a lot of uh, people comparing this man. Uh, said that he looks very similar to Darren Sproles. You know, it, 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 is, it, do we have our new Sproles here in, in Boston, Scott, out of Law Tech? I'm going to go out on a limb and say this. If we took a follicle of Darren Sproles here and put it in that cloning machine, <laughs> well, uh, 
that Stewie got off of Family Guy. <laughs> this guy, this is what comes out. This is what well, comes this- Not retarded Stewie, yo. Not retarded Stewie. <laughs> but this is what comes out. Out of all the picks, um, I'm not going to say he the best one on day three, but this is the one I'm most excited about because I think this is the guy that has the most potential. Uh, not to say that uh, Kareem Moore or Nathaniel, wait, I'm saying his name right? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, Natrell Jameson doesn't have potential or the old tackle record Ricky Rick messing everybody names I'm Rick sorry Lee. y'all I don't know Rick y'all Lee. yet but uh this guy I think is could potentially be that third guy in the Saints rotation that we always that's have the one had we, we've, that's the um, one we've been I've been talking about is that I, if, if you get if 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 you have problems with uh, Ingram or Kamara, you need somebody that can do similar things as those guys, and this guy sounds like he can do uh, something similar. He can similar do a little bit of Kamara, both. So um, there you go. Like you said, he doesn't have amazing strength, but get this one stat that nobody really paid attention to. I guarantee you'd have been higher if they thought about that, but you know how they feel in the draft about Shark guys. Pro Football Focus has Scott rated as the third highest graded college running back. In 2017, behind only Ronald Jones and Saquon Barkley. That's pretty big, and to get him in the bottom of the sixth round, that says a lot. So, well, you know how the we people people are do scared; they don't want to take a shot on this guy. Uh, the San Diego Chargers probably would have been someone that would have took a shot on him. If, You're seeing if, a play if, that if looks us. like Darren Strolls. Exactly. I they mean, had Olive the over thing. there that looked like Darren Strolls. He worked. So, he did you okay know, now him. we got our guy, Boston Scott. Um, and he looks like Darren Strolls. And Darren Strolls just re with the Eagles. So it's all Game working together. Year. So let's let's go to the seven-round draft pick. Let's talk about Will Clapp, 6'5", 314, LSU, Will Clapp. And they talk about Clapp's surgery on the, uh, he, the sports the sports hernia he had, the labrum injury in his hip and shoulder. But uh, the man is all New Orleans, born in New Orleans, went to LSU. Now he's a saint. I mean, you couldn't, couldn't make this out quickly before we go. This is the this is Seco Calamante, yo. Uh, this is the replacement guy for Seco Calamante for sure. He was sitting there in the seventh round. This guy had a fifth round grade, so this is another steal the Saints got. So that's two players they can't argue with about us drafting bad, yo. Uh, Will Clapp was amazing. He played guard, I think. Uh, I know he played center for sure. He started at center and guard, and I think he also played tackle. He did. He played he can, center he guard. He can do and it all. Tackle, so this he, is a. Uh, this is hopefully the eventual replacement for Max Uncle and that we're going to groom in 32 house. years old, from Mark New Orleans, Ingram. From Metairie. I mean, Mark Unger. So Mark here we go. Right. So now you say, I said Ingram. Uh, his name is Uncle. But anyway, we're about to go into our first break. We'll come back on the other side of the break. We'll finish up on our draft talk and break down some of the college free agents as well. Stay with us. 